Well, I'm getting you guys in position. In the meantime, let me just say hello to uh, all of my Georgia Peach Nut family. Hi, how you doing? And welcome and welcome and welcome on board to my new family members. This is Miss Gail over here at Georgia Peach Nut. Coming to you with just a little bit more gardening, getting you set up. I'm going to go on the other side where, you know, you have a view of my elderberries. You know, my wonderful elderberries that I'm still needing to cut back. So, let's go, let's start with this. How you guys doing? You like, you know, I like to go in here and get into my to my thing. No music. One day I get some music. Meantime, you have to listen to me. I get recalls every day. I know you guys probably do too. Maybe most of you. This is serious, you guys. I'm just going to start off like this as to why I had to run out here. I was coming anyway, but I said, let me get on out here and talk to my people. All the recalls, as you know, spinach, my fresh express, and I can say this because it's in the news. Uh, so I'm going to plant some more spinach. I don't want to have to buy no spinach at the store and get listeria and salmonella. No, ain't nobody trying to do all that. See if I can bring y'all up while I talk to you. Nobody trying to do all that. So, you know, you need to plant whatever is going on out here. You don't want to have to go to the store. They're telling you in advance. So you can't go and want to sue them. You can try it, but they have a stronger case because they're putting it out here. If you Google uh, uh, recalls, it's going to come up. It's like 10 pages of recalls of your food. Uh, Harrow salad, potato salad, macaroni salad, granola bars, and the cereal. Bean sprouts. Himalayan pain relief tea. You better get there and grow your tea. I'm increasing what I'm growing in those areas. Uh, romaine lettuce is always, earlier this year was always on recall. I don't know what's going on with the romaine lettuce. Applesauce today came out. The applesauce pouches. People, I just moved my apple tree up there. Gonna make sure I stay on top of my apple tree and my other fruit trees. I'm cutting my trees down the ones that's way up in the sky. I can't get up there and I cannot manage them. I cannot maintain them. So I'm getting them down to however high I can reach, which is here about close to six feet, six and a half feet, six and a half feet. I may even bring it down lower. So when the plum cuculio and the apple mac and all those other things come out and try to attack it, I can better manage it. So what we're gonna do today, let me bring you back down. Uh, I had some people to say, some I talked to online, some I talked to in person about gardening, but I have not a lot of space, Miss Gail. And I think you're crooked. Let's see if I can straighten you up a little bit without dropping you. That's just gonna have to do because that's not the most important thing you can see. This is just something I had in my house. I'm not gonna put any holes in it. And it's similar to something that I did last year. I have the big gardening going on over here and I'm gonna do a larger container. This is your garden right here. This is your garden space. Okay, I understand, I get it. You don't have a lot of space. But this is what we're gonna do. I cut some cardboard up. Just get some cardboard. You're gonna make little dividers. I wanna do three things. You may just wanna do two. Or you may just want to do, let me turn it so you can see it. Or you may just want to do one. I'm going to do three things. I have three dividers in here, which is probably not going to stand up. But we'll see. So I'm going to put some soil here. And that'll get it started for standing up. And if you have dirt, so I don't have soil, I don't have money for soil. Just get some perlite, P-E-R, perlite, P-E-R-L-I-T-E. -E -E, and keep it on hand. And that will give you, if you get soil out your, um, dirt out of your garden, or out your yard, that will at least give it some aeration. So here we go. So I'm gonna fill that up right there. Come and fill this side up over here. I got some birds out here. Uh, they, they tend to like to mess with me when I come out here. I don't know why. So I'm gonna mound this up and put this in right here on that side. And make it stand up by putting some more soil in. And put some soil on this side. See, this is easy. 
cut cut the cardboard up. You can use a piece of plastic. I mean, I'd rather use cardboard. It's biodegradable and uh, all that good stuff. Well, I'm growing it in this hard plastic, so it'll be okay. Don't stress it. Don't stress out over terminology and all that. Don't have folks stressing you out about terminology, okay? You can adapt things to your environment, your situation, you know, all that good stuff. So I said, okay, I've got some lead, some lettuce growing and some spinach growing, but I don't want to ever run out. And I do want to uh, make sure that I have it as well as um, growing in a situation where uh, I would let it grow, go to seed. So we've done that. Now what we're gonna do, I'm talking about spinach. Let's see what do I have in my pocket. I always come outside with seeds in my pockets. I don't show it, because I don't have to. But let's see, it's not in that pocket. I'm saying that, why, why y'all laugh at me? Say, oh, she said she come out with the seeds and she ain't even got them. Uh-huh. It takes a lot to pack up to come out here and do a video. I'm just gonna say that. But here I am. So, I have some Bloomsdale long standing spinach right here. And it's about 20, 19 years old. <laughs> and the Corinta hybrid. It may not, if I do a uh, let this go to seed, it may not come back like it, it grew out because it's a hybrid. It's a mixture of things. I also have, um, I'm trying to decide, some white onions. The white Lisbon bunching onions. I'm going to try that. And I'm going to try some more arugula because I like arugula. Hey, broke farmer. I love arugula. <laughs> so <laughs> I just have to mess with him because he doesn't like it. So anyway, we're going to, what I'm going to do is wet this down so that when I put the seeds on top, it won't uh, go through. I'm going to use my hands. Y'all got to appreciate this. Please appreciate this. I took water cold. <laughs> I'm going to use my hands because I have this little water right here. I probably do have a cup I can use, but I didn't bring one with me, so this will be fine. Just going ahead and scoop some water out, Miss Gill. It's going to be just fine. And this will keep the seeds from falling all the way through. Now, I did not put holes in the bottom of this container. This is winter outdoor sowing. So, no holes because we're going to cover it up like we did the other container that's right next to me right here we're gonna cover it up and um the condensation will keep it from uh will keep it watered like it should be and then we just check on it so i'm gonna do the other one right over here let's see a little bit more right here get in the corners i want it to get good and wet and i don't need to make it go all the way through because it's um, it's gonna happen anyway with the condensation coming in from the top. It is approximately 47 degrees. We're going down to probably 27 tonight or 28. Last night we were 28, I believe. And then we have one more night of the weather being cold. Then everything's gonna warm up. And then we're going to do some different things. I am a perennial gardener. In other words, I garden all year round. Yes, I can show you how I do this. And if you don't have, you, you got this much space on your porch somewhere where you live. You have this much space. So we're going to take this and I'm going to pat my hands together. Then we're going to go in here and put the seeds down. Hold on, just uh, Okay, let's start off with the spinach. It's gonna be right here. I am going to put in, um, they're going all over the place. The blooms, they are long standing first, and I'm just gonna drop some seeds. I'm gonna do just the top half, because the second half, I'm gonna put the, um, the one that is, um, not an heirloom, that is a hybrid. So these are big. See, these are big seeds. 
see if I can put them down where you can see them. They're big. So you can kind of see where you place them. Maybe a couple more. Because these will be transplanted into a larger container. Soon. I hope. We'll see. Okay. So. On this side over here. We're going to put the Corinta. And I haven't opened these up. And they have a sell by date of the 18th of, uh, of, of December. So they are five years old. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see if they're going to come up. So we're going to put these right here. And you probably cannot see me dropping them in. But trust me, they're going in. I'll bring the container a little bit closer. And put it back so you can see everything. Okay. So I'm just, no, no rhythm or rhyme. Y'all know me. I'm just dropping seeds, huh? I'm just dropping seeds. They'll be all right. Okay, next we're going to do the arugula. As you know, this did very well in the house. Came up very quickly. So that was with a warm environment. Let's see how well it does outside in the cold. Now listen, for those of you who are in cold climates, there are like seeds for certain vegetables that are, you know, for cold climates. You have to research that. If I can figure it out, I will come back later on in another video and tell you what they are. This one is um, upside down. This one says late summer, spring, and then late summer. But as you know, I got it growing in the house and it's coming outside. But in the meantime, you can grow your lettuce in the house this is going to be the challenge right here with the arugula. This is going to be a challenge to see if it actually does something outside. And if it does, for those of you who live in climates that's colder than mine, I'm in zone 8A. If you're in a colder zone, which means your number would be lower than mine, then you'll know how to handle it and how to deal with it. Now, this is the white Lisbon bunching onion. I've got these growing all over my yard because I put them in the ground one day and they kept growing <laughs> and spreading. But I love onions. You can't ever get enough of onions. So I didn't realize I loved onions until I started gardening like this. I've been gardening since 1984, but gardening on this level. Each year you should advance yourself more and more in, in the area of gardening. And listen, people. Yes, I do one of those talking videos. Uh, with all these recalls, it's the same situation we were in three years ago, except for it's got a different piece of, piece of clothing on, but it's still a monkey. You just put it on a dress. So you adapt and act accordingly to how you act three years ago. It's the same situation. Our food is being challenged. I'm going to say that. So... Having said that, you just uh, act accordingly. Get out there and grow your food. You want to go to this. Look, look, look. Look these places up. Look, Go in there and see food recall. Or just look up recall. Say so you want all of them. There's so many brand names. I mean, I can't talk about all of them. All I can say is go to Google and Google recall. It'll come up and Google it while they still have it out there. So we're gonna now take, you know me, sprinkle some soil on top. Now because the spinach is a little bigger, we're gonna put just a little, like maybe a eighth of an inch of soil on that. Not much, just a little. Now, this is um, the the lettuce, it doesn't need much soil. 
You see, I'm not putting much on here. I'm going to take just about a 16. Let's see. Not much. You don't put much soil on the lettuce because it was, it was smaller than this over here. So I'm just putting just a little bit on that. Then we're going to come over here to the onions. They were smaller than the um, spinach. Don't need a whole lot of soil. Not a whole lot. Okay. That's good enough. So now that we put the soil on top, we're going to go back and put some water on. But I ain't putting my hand in that cold water. Hold on for a second. <laughs> that ain't that ain't gonna happen. I could use this as long as I don't put too much in here. Just have to be careful. That's enough of that. We don't want too much. Just get the corners. Okay, go over here. You don't want to use this because you don't want to. That's why I wet it first. You don't want to push it down. But anyhow, now we're set. So all we have to do now is put. I'm going to lay these spoons in here like that. These are just restaurant spoons. So the first one is. Spinach. I'm just going to write spinach on here. And I bought the wrong pen. And the video would tell me, but just in case I don't have it, we're going to have uh, the very first one. What was the first one, y'all? Tell me. That's still wriggling. Okay, the first one was the Bloom Bloomsdale. Now, this may not stay on because this is not my uh, marker that I went to. I meant to brought, to brought out. Do a line. And then the next one is the Cor uh, Corinta. Just something. Just a market. I'm going to lay that like that. Go on to the next one, which is the arugula. This is lettuce. And lay that like that. And we will do the last but not least, as soon as I get this to lay in here right. The last but not least is the bunch of onions. We're gonna let, and today is the 19th, so I'm gonna put DEC 19 Lay that one like that. Okay. Alrighty. So now all we're gonna do close this top let's see here yay so we'll see it's gonna sit out here in the cold we're not gonna water it we're not gonna do anything to it as a matter of fact we're gonna just leave it alone and we'll come back and visit Take these gloves off there. Messy now. We'll come back and visit in about maybe 10 days. Or if I see something when I come out here, I bring you guys along and we can see together how many um, days it takes for them to, each one of them to germinate. And then you can judge by your grow zone as to whether or not you can do this. I'm sure you can do this. 
I'm sure you can. Outdoor, winter outdoor sewing. And um, I don't know if there's a challenge going on with the winter outdoor sewing. I know there's one with the indoor, winter indoor sewing. But it's all good. You guys, I just want you to grow something. My urgency right now is to get you to understand that you can put a seed in the ground you can put it in a container right now depending on your grow zone i wouldn't put it in the ground right now but you can put it in a container you can put it in a water bottle you can put it in a milk jug let me come around that to you let me talk to you for a sec you can put it in a milk jug water bottle We've shown you how to winter sow in the milk jug. This is from last year. This is from last year. I, I just didn't do anything with it. I don't even know when I grew in here. It's still growing. Look at that. It's still growing. I probably can plant this. I need to figure out what it is. Look at here. Put it in there. Forgot about it. And if I can go back over my video, I, it'll tell me which what that is. It's ready to go into a container. I don't know what it is, but we'll experiment with this. It's ready to go into a container. You have your handle here. You don't cut the handle all the way. You just cut that to that part before the handle. And then right here, you start before the handle. So you can go back and forth and you put some tape around it. You put the soil in the bottom. You put your seed in, put a little bit more soil on top, however you want to do it, water it. No holes in the bottom. You don't need that because you don't need the top either. Throw the top away. Condensation will water it for you. And it's the same principle as what we're doing here. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but it, it's the same thing as what we're doing here. It's the same thing. Winter sowing. Outdoors. See, y'all see that? Look at that. All that's come up, you got your um, radishes right here, beets, beets are up, and turnips. I mean, I want to do some mustards. This thing uh, with the with the recalls got me more anxious than I am normally. Uh, anxious because it it's, it's happening every day people we go to the store and we just buy stuff we don't think about the safety of what we're eating because we're so spoiled and you're thinking that it, it, somebody's looking out for our benefit and it's okay it's gonna be okay there's a list yay long of food produced by manufacturers and companies that you know. You better, I don't know what's moving over there because I got a creek over here and I have some brush. Oh, it's a bird. Okay. Uh, do your homework, people. I don't want you to get sick. I don't want your children to get sick because a lot of this stuff is children food. Too. I don't know, toys. Um, just do your homework, please. I will talk about this until I can't talk no more because it's out there. And look it up. And if you have looked it up, please, in your comments, uh, say that you have looked it up and you are on board. Um, let me know if you are winter outdoor sewing. In other words, winter outdoor planting. Uh, winter outdoor growing however you want to put it uh, let me know if you're doing that if you're indoor growing let me know let's just talk about it and kudos to you if you are and those who are not uh, let's talk about it okay I got you guys I love you don't forget to like share and subscribe tell a friend about Miss Gail over here Georgia Peach Nut I am at 963 if, if, if 900 people go away and I only have three I don't care I want you to get the message. I want you to be able to eat. And without food, what happens to you? You perish. 
Okay, you guys, I'm going to go back in the house and warm my hands up. Love you, and I'll see you in the garden. Bye.